Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout Podcast for the week of April 17th. I'm Nicole Erdix, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. So um, we've had this water bottle collection for as long as I can remember. <laughs> And every time we get a new water bottle, we acquire one either through purchase or raffle or giveaway. (laughs) It just gets thrown into this cupboard, never really to be used or seen again. And I was desperate. Yeah. So I was desperate for a water bottle yesterday because I was going somewhere for the day and I needed a big one. So I found one in the depths of my cupboard and pulled it out and I used it. And man, Am I ever pleasantly surprised that water bottle (laughs) is now forever going to be at my side? (laughs) And I am not a water bottle person. Uh, The name brand is Corksicle, and they are quite well known, and they do have a very good reputation. But let me tell you this. I put ice cubes in my Corksicle yesterday morning at Mm -hmm. 6 a.m., I still have icicles in my corksicle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Today, 24, actually, what time is it now? Almost tw- 30 hours later. Wow. I still have ice in my corksicle. Yes. Excellent. And it is impressive. ice cold. It is so impressive. Huh. I have to tell you. Very nice. <laughs> I And so now I'm like, I have this like really cold, yummy water to drink. Endlessly, it seems, because <laughs> these ice, these, these this ice isn't melting, so it's great. So yeah, oh. corksicle. Thank you for changing my life. <laughs> oh wow, that's all you needed, huh? <laughs> that's all I needed. <laughs> Dehydration <laughs> leads to everything. So <laughs> that's true. Well, that's true. That's a good point. I should look into that. Yeah, maybe that's what I need, and not surgery, but. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Terry? I recently finished listening on Audible, which we were discussing yesterday. I plunked down my credit for this. Uh, a book called Thank You for Listening uh, by Julia Whalen, and also narrated by her. She is a professional audiobook reader and does very great with it. She was, before that, an actress, uh, most particularly on a show that I loved called Once and Again that is not streaming. Why is it not streaming? <laughs> she was so, so, so good in that. And she's left acting behind, is now doing this narration, and has written this book about somebody who narrates uh, audiobooks for a living and used to be an actress. And uh, she does have a disclaimer at the end saying, this is not about me. Um, <laughs> But she has a very enjoyable narrating voice, and she does all the different voices of the characters really well. And I am pretty much just going to start going on Audible looking for books she's narrated and download them no matter who wrote them and what they're about, because I Mm -hmm. know I will at least enjoy listening to her and all her many voices. Uh, But this was a really fun listen, and I really enjoyed the story. Uh, It It has a twist you can see coming, but then also one that I didn't and wished I could have flipped back through the pages of a book to check and make sure that really, but but I trust her. I'm sure. (laughs) Uh, And it does, it talks a lot about the tropes of romance novels and romance narration. And then, you know, as it is fulfilling them amusingly and, Mm -hmm. you know, joking about happily ever after, it always has to have happily ever after. And it, you know, I think it fulfills that requirement better than um, the most recent Linda Holmes novel I heard Julia Whelan narrating, which is Flying Solo, that mm-hmm. I think kind of cheated on the HEA. I don't know. Maybe uh, there are people who probably found that very fulfilling and appropriate. I you did not. did not. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> there are certain requirements of this genre, lady. Yeah. But, you know, I'm going to continue to listen to Linda Holmes novels. I'm not holding it against her, but uh, Mm -hmm. thank you for listening. Ended in a much more satisfying way for me and had lots and lots and lots and lots of story in between. So if you are looking for a well-written and very, very well-narrated romance to listen to, I recommend to you, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. (laughs) 
Thank you. How about you, Catherine? What do you have? Well, I don't know if you remember, but many, many years ago, there was this cute little YouTube video called Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. And it was narrated by Jenny Slate as this tiny little shell (laughs) with these fun little sneakers and one giant eyeball. And it... It was just adorable. (laughs) And there is now a full length, but, you know, not long, but a full length uh, feature film about Marcel the Shell. And it is absolutely adorable. And it's funny and, like, very poignant. And it's just, it is worth your time. Um, (laughs) It's just, like, you know... It has a whole story, but there's also so much, like, world building, which is the world within our world that we live in. (laughs) Um, You know, all the different ways that Marcel um, and Marcel's compatriots figure out to do things um, Uh is just absolutely charming. Um, And, like... (laughs) Marcel lives with his grandmother, uh, who he calls Nana Connie. Um, <laughs> her name is Connie, and she's voiced by Isabella Rossellini. Wow! And <laughs> at one point, we hear um, Marcel says, "Well, Nana's from the garage. That's why she has an accent." <laughs> Uh, that's, that's why she cute. has this beautiful, you know, Italian accent from Isabella Rossellini because <laughs> she's from the garage. She traveled here by jacket pocket. Oh, that is cute. So it's it's just so 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 cute, and it's Aww. you know it's very like family friendly and uh-huh. right, um, just adorable. And where is it available? Um, we found it on Showtime. Okay. Uh, there may be other, you may be able to find it like on demand, maybe on, if you have cable. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but yeah, it's, it's charming and just very, very sweet. So good old Marcel. (laughs) There's a, there's a small figure skating plot. (laughs) Oh, well. (laughs) I mean, plot is generous, but it, you right. know, it's it's a sweet little story. So right. check it out. And that's it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about first aid kits, kids' timetables, and mother-daughter conversations and other family stories. <laughs> You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here on Monday. Bye.